Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick out of NYC, man. Some news hit last night, uh, and it was about an incident that took place December 16th where it left 24-year-old Oscar Hernandez shot and killed outside of a Harlem barbershop from what the reports say and everything like that. So first and foremost, I do want to say condolences to the family of Oscar Hernandez and everybody involved and close to him who dealt with him on a day-to-day -day basis. Man, they going into 2022 without a son, maybe a brother, a family member. You know, they grieving. It's Now it's actually uh, Christmas Eve. So this is a real unfortunate situation for them, man. They going to feel it the most, no matter what's going on. They lost a, a loved one, somebody close to them, somebody that's pumping the same bloodline. That's some shit to go through, especially at the time at the time of the year like this, man. So that brings us to the next situation where Bronx drill rapper name come up. Now I want to say this first, just to be fair, and how I report and I speak on situations innocent until proven guilty. He has been arrested, but he hasn't had his official day in court yet. You can't flop. Now, if you don't know who K-Flock is, he's part of the new New York drill scene and everything like that. 18 years old, going up, going crazy. The Brooklyn, the Brooklyn drill scene for this situation kicked this whole New York drill thing off. They've been going crazy with the amount of artists they got in the Brooklyn drill scene. We seen it with the biggest one becoming Pop Smoke uh, before he was killed last year and everything like that. But we know how that Chicago drill scene took off impacted the game, influenced the entire motherfucking world. They doing drill all overseas. First, we seen Bobby Smurder kind of get the influence from the drill with his little sound at first. Then we seen they start doing it in London, super heavy with their style of beats too, which transferred over to how Brooklyn as a whole was doing the Brooklyn drill. Uh, they had their Brooklyn drill scene. Then that later influenced the Bronx drill scene. Now, k Flock is one of the forefronts of that. He is the hottest new young artist coming up. Uh, millions of views every video. If you tapped into the channel, you have seen him on it before. We just spoke on him as far as on the lives and what he had going on as far as, you know, him going up, the nigga with the next amount of potential, performed their role in live. But they actually saying that dog committed this murder. He's been arrested for that. They say he was outside, he went to the barbershop, Saw Oscar in there. They had some words exchanged that led to later an argument. And then allegedly, from what the police said, he shot Oscar in the back and in the neck as he walked away after the, ar the argument ensued. And they was, guess, from my understanding, good. This is what the reports are saying. They had them all up on the wanted for tips and all these things like that. Crime stoppers. Somebody got the call or they got some information that led to them to feel like, hey, he this was an arrest that was, uh, you know, worth it. So, man, this is one of those situations, like I always say, uh, with me, I'll be all the way honest with, with K-Flock. The talent is there. The style, the energy, all that is there. I've seen a lot of questionable things online. We all have, if you tapped into the artist. I, I was 18 at one point in time, bro. Uh, but I see, like, today, man, with this internet, bro, niggas feel like they got to show it all, bro. Uh, not saying that that has anything to do with what he's currently charged with, but the energy that you depict online, what you say, what you do, the IG lives, he got some very interesting decisions that were made online, I will be honest. Uh, and you can look at those. They'll, they'll see those. They know those. They know everything. I want to tell y'all that, especially if you you in New York, man. We've seen it time and time again with these New York hip-hop artists. Uh, they are watching everything y'all do. Y'all have an actual hip-hop police department in New York that works directly with the feds. They work directly with everybody. They all won. NYPD and the feds work hand-in-hand in, hand in New York. So they taking pictures. They screen recording your videos. You ain't got to just worry about the YouTube. YouTube is recording incriminating evidence. You got to worry about the motherfuckers that can put you behind that wall. They have it all in there. They going to know what gang you in. If you popping, you on Instagram, you on social media, and you promoting your shit, they know what gang you in, they know what block you from, and they know who you beefing with. 
They got a, people sitting in the office on a flat screen looking at everything in 4K. I'm not telling this to disrespect nobody, telling y'all this to make y'all, you know, talk down. I'm just giving y'all the real. It's interviews online where they saying they do this, the actual hip-hop cop. Look them up, the hip-hop cop. Once again, we here out of NYC. Another rapper facing some serious shit. But I will keep y'all updated. We got more shit coming, more videos, more everything. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. 1,000 for shit show. Tell me what y'all think about this shit in the comment section. We got more coming. Stay on your pivot.